one of the things that I kind of find interesting is like uh, double percussion, like how onset relates to material over time. So when we have like a synchronous moment, like something happens and it happens together, this can cause, um, it almost wraps around in terms of novelty. So if we were playing like tempo or beat based music, that would be unremarkable. Synchronicity would be like the norm and something outside of that would be remarkable. But in, in kind of what we're doing here, this sort of asynchronous cloud of stuff and events, a moment of synchronicity has a, a meaning that's often outside of the, the scope of context. Like it means more than sometimes it should. Yeah, it's sort of, it's sort of like, uh, it's baldly apparent, right? Yeah. Like uh, regardless of anything else that's happening, it's a clear event of significance because it's just so clear. Um, and actually, with that in mind, like one of the things that I was thinking as we were playing was the electronic element of what you're doing provides a nice little contrast to that, right? So it's not just the percussion, mm -hmm. right? Um, but it's kind of orchestral in that sense, and it provides a sort of concurrent contrast so that those moments aren't as black and white, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, there's something outside of also my control and also my ability to respond to context. So there was one moment kind of uh, two thirds of the way through where, where we kind of like nailed something and there was mm -hmm. there was a, a response to that materially. Like I think we both thinned out, we right. both let things response. And I think if I, I remember right, there was a kind of electronics kind of took over in there, which was nice. Like had that been me, it would have stopped too. Right. The, the electronics don't doesn't care about this this thing that we're talking about, I guess. Well, and it, it, it allows us <laughs> It allows us to make decisions that don't control 100% of the sound, right? Yeah. Like, so at that moment, we can hold it, and it's not this sort of generic, like, pregnant silence necessarily, <laughs> right? Um, because sound is happening, so we can make decisions based on our interest in, like, the percussion element, right? And that sort of takes care of itself and takes care of the piece, so to speak, right? Mm -hmm. um, because oftentimes, especially when you're playing with people or instruments that you don't play with, you know, on a regular basis, right? You sort of latch on to these very generic signifiers. Um, so again, having like that contrasting element or that sort of like, it just rounds out the picture <laughs> a bit more. Yeah, I mean, and, and we've, we've played together a fair amount and we've played together in a mixed acoustic and electronic context, but one of the reasons why I wanted to set up with this kind of setup is that it's, not one that, well, for one that I've not played with this set before, but specifically I've not played with you with this set before, right. and you've not played with me with this set. So it's, it's kind of, there's a freshness to this combination of systems that I think I was hoping would be interesting in this context. And for right. me it was, like there's some kind of, even just this idea that that one idea has become very apparent here and, and, and we're unpacking it here. But the, um, I don't know, it, it, I like how these systems interconnect. Yeah, right. You know? Yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, even just, it changes... You know, one of the things that I find with this, I mean, I generally think of this as a monophonic instrument, right? Um, and I, having put th this be my sort of primary percussive medium for the last 10 or so years, I've sort of come by extension to think of percussion monophonically, right? Um, and that's obviously not necessarily like a lot of percussionist backgrounds, particularly improvising percussionists is through the context of jazz, which uh, generally feeds in through the drum kit, right? Which is a multiplicity of sound and of layers of sound. Um, so with that in mind, it's kind of interesting because I feel like you can play your percussion very thin, right? Without necessarily resulting in a thin sound or a monophonic mm -hmm. sound, right? It's sort of uh, more than a duet in that regard. There are so many different layers, timbres, etc. Um, but there's not a sense of, of nakedness, right? Mm -hmm. um, that sometimes comes from, for example, the way that I play um, in particular, which again is, is monophonic as one line. Yeah. And, and we did some playing yesterday, but I, I guess when you're on the snare as well, or I mean, even a bit when you were doing this before, there's a much bigger blur of sound source mm -hmm. or even, even material. So like this monophony together is, um, still extends past the bodies. You know, like it, it's still a, a one yeah. unit. Even. Right, because it's, it's resonating through a single object that sort of colors yeah, yeah. everything. Right? Yeah, so here it, 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 I, we, there is an inherent um, polyphony, right. if, if nothing more than because of like you having primarily metal there and me primarily having, I guess, skin or, or, or 
plastic, you know, like, like right. n- less resonant surfaces, which somewhat was an intentional idea for me as well. I didn't want to have symbols here. Yeah, I right. set up to kind of set up a bit of that. And I think, I don't know, works quite well. Yeah, well, and I, I feel at Liberty, like I said, there are often times where because of the, the thinness and the reliance on small details that uh, my playing generally leans on, um, there's some times where I feel an obligation to try to be thicker or fill more space, right? Which is just a psychological problem on my part. But with you were just so full and varied that I was kind of like, I can do whatever, like, you know? Um, so it's, it's kind of freeing and it establishes a very sort of interesting, like, relationship, particularly in a duo context, right? Um, where your instrument, I mean, both our instruments, to a certain degree, are so unfixed, yeah. right? So um, sort of widening and narrowing the amount of sound uh, that we're producing and the role that we're playing at a given time. Do you want to have another go?